2018 Northeast Open is our PB2X home this week. We'll be watching the dogs and infamous square off. We'll give you our picks to perform in Division Two, And the young guns step to center stage. It's an action pack 30, and it's coming at you right now. How about one more round from Pittsburgh? Hey everybody, welcome to Paintball 2 Extremes. I'm James Bates and you'll stop right there. Pittsburgh is a good city and it's been good to you. The last couple shows we brought you the IAO. Now we've moved over a little bit, the PSP Northeast Open, just like last year on Paintball 2 Extremes. We hit the PSP Northeast Open, but it was at Nemecolin Resort, about an hour or so south of here. Right now, well, we're at the Turner Valley Complex and that's just fine by me. Plenty of space around here to just spray some paint. All kinds of good stuff and all kinds of good shows. Not just one, not just two. That's right, I'm going crazy. Three shows from the Northeast Open. All kinds of good stuff from Excessive, Infamous, The Naughty Dogs, and much, much more. Get your game on, Jen Pierce. I hope you're ready to roll. James, we've been in Pittsburgh so much lately that they should call this state Pennsylvania. Okay, bad joke, but this week's show is no joke. In addition to looking at X-Ball, I'm gonna give you a little preview of the Division II teams that are looking good for the upcoming World Cup. We're also gonna take a look at the Young Guns phenomenon, give you a little one minute review, and get crazy personal in our line of fire. We've got a lot to do, so James, what kind of dirt do you have for us? We've gotten accustomed lately to seeing Excessive dominate here in the States. Well, they've also taken their act overseas, winning the Millennium Series event in Paris and leading the points. There's three championships to win, Millennium, PSP, and MPPL, and uh, our goal is to win all three. Dynasty also made the journey, but were upset by Cyclone from Finland. The rules have changed a little bit in the Millenniums uh, with scoring and guns, and uh, I don't know, I, I'm not a big fan of it anymore. <laughs> Just another reason why World Cup ought to be incredible this year. This is exciting times. The young guys, they come around, they get their first sniff of paintball, and they're hooked, especially when they hit the tournament play. Gives you something else to strut the stuff too. Isn't that right, Jen Pierce? Check us out with those young guns. Making sure they have the experience necessary to one day move up in the ranks. The kids who play in the Young Guns division have a lot of years of paintball ahead of them. They all have to be under the age of 15, but they really appreciate being able to play at a national tournament. We've gone to two events. We won the first. This is our second. Uh, we did pretty good in Orlando. Won the D3 entry fee and 10 cases of paint. The entire Young Gun system is designed to look forward and train the next generation of paintballers. We're a developmental team where we have 18 boys on our roster. So what we do is we actually have a developmental program where we have a practice squad, we have a young gun squad and a rookie squad. And each one of those phases we practice, you know, to, to develop into the next group. It's basically what we do now is three times a week of nothing but paintball, so I'm non-stop paintball. The Punisher Punks program also places strict demands on the players. You have to have a B average or above to be on the team. I've actually had players that got a C on their final report card, and we were going to a tournament, and I, and I made them set out that game just to show them that, you know, school is more important. When you watch the young guns play, you can't help but be amazed at the level of talent. And it's obvious that they have great prospects for the future. So I guess a logical step for those young guns would be to move up to divisional play next. And when we come back on Paintball 2 Extremes, we'll check out some Division 2 action. And who are the big dogs on their way to the World Cup? I can't believe it's almost time. Stay right there. PB2X will be right back. Paintball 2 Extremes is brought to you by Empire. Innovation. Dedication. Domination by Bob Long, creator of the legendary Intimidator and Defiant Markers. And by Paintball 2 Extremes, covering the game. Hey, welcome back to Paintball 2 Extremes. I'm 
Oh, I'm not wearing this. Is that the way it looks? I promise you, I was just shopping. Doing a little bit of shopping here for the missus. Hey, welcome back. I'm James Bates. Having a good time here at the PSP Northeast Open, as we always do on Paintball 2 Extremes. And we always have so much fun when it's time to go in the line of fire. The movers and shakers of the sport. Things about the sport, things not about the sport. And it's a good time, but I'm a little bit worried for my partner now, Jen Pierce. She's going to be in a room alone with Chris LaSoya and all that hair. Here you go, Jen. Take it away. Chris LaSoya. Yes. What's up with the ponytail? The ponytail. Well, I think if I cut it, nobody would know who I was. And all your strength would be gone. I know. It's like a mojo. Have you ever colored it? No. Just when I get shot in the head every now and then, a little bit of paint gets in there. So, out. no. I get highlights when the sun gets really hot, though. How many piercings do you have? Eight. 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 And I can see three. You want to see the other ones? I know about two others. <laughs> so there's some others we don't need to talk about. I'm, just, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you have so. any tattoos? No, I don't have any tattoos. Why not? I figure when I get to be older, you know, like in Bob Long's age or the older guy's age, I figure that I wouldn't want ugly wrinkles on my body. Did you go to college? Yes, I went to college. I was in the military, actually. It's something that people don't know. I was in college, I was in the military, and the Army. That's the how Army. I got to Colorado. And uh, I got a degree in accounting. I didn't get a degree in accounting to be an accountant. I got a degree in accounting to be able to run my own business and not have to worry about somebody doing my books for me. How long have you been playing paintball? Uh, 18, 19 years. Wow. What are your responsibilities? Um, I'm pretty much babysitter anymore. You know, I'm, I'm like a full, full-time babysitter. Not only are we, are we captains of the paintball team, we're also like a life coach to some of these kids because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so we kind of got to take the reins a little bit as the parent, as the parental figure, which is unforeseen for me because I don't have any kids. Do you want to have kids? Oh, yeah, eventually. Is that a good thing? Oh, yeah, it's a good thing. Should we be nervous? No, yeah, like, you should be. Come yeah, along? as long as it's a boy, you should be nervous. Ah, you gotta love LaSoya, don't you? <laughs> well, unless you're Jen Pierce, then you don't have to. And you stood up well, Jen, did a good job. And how about LaSoya, always on the lookout for new talent. Not just Jen Pierce kind of talent either, but you know, some of the young pups, the good players, and a good place to find them is in the divisional ranks. You know, guys here just trying to scrap and claw and be some of the top dogs heading into Orlando. And right now, Jen goes and gives you Pierce's picks. To me, Division Two looks like a three-horse race as we head to the World Cup, with the top two in the point standings joined by one potential upstart team. Team LTZ, or less than zero, has been the leader from the start, racking up an impressive list of wins. But complacency is not one of their traits. I think we're going to have to work on more of adapting to the other team. Like, if we lose a couple of points, learning on what we need to change our strategy to come back and play better. LTZ even boasts one of the better female players in paintball, Ashley Noble. Well, ever since the beginning, I've always played on teams with guys. I mean, that's the only way I like to do it, so I love it. Hot on the heels of LTZ comes Team Extreme, and this crew relies on adaptability as a key to success. Even last night, we've been changing our game plans because we know that if we keep doing the same thing, teams are going to find out. But we have to adjust to their game plans to keep winning. But you know, we've been like getting second and third, stuff like that. Well, first not yet, but hopefully it's going to be this tournament. And if you like to play hunches, give a thought to Punisher's Paintball. Extreme and LTZ are definitely the two toughest competitors for us. Uh, we've played them in the past, and it, it always comes down to pretty much one or two points. And um, basically, the, the more we watch them, the more we learn from them, and it's just we need to counter what they do and just keep our heads in the game. Finally, if you believe in momentum, then you have to give the nod to Team Extreme, who took the title here at the Northeast Open. All right, I'm with Team Extreme Division Two champions. How do you guys feel right now? How do you guys feel? Great. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> so I feel pretty good. Now, are we going to see you guys in the same position at the World Cup? No, oh, you hell yeah. Number one, hey, back to come back. Come on, number one, back to back, right, guys? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Orlando ought to be very interesting. If we had a time machine to look ahead into the future, I can guarantee that we're going to see some of those guys playing on network television, competing in front of bleachers full of screaming fans. But we don't have to do much time traveling for that. We've got that right here, right now, with the Open Class X-Ball. Well, thank you.
you, Miss Jen. We got more paint than Picasso here at the Turner Valley Sports Complex in Irvin, PA. Infamous in the yellow and black getting fired up. And they're getting fired up in the red and black, too. That's the Naughty Dogs. We've got the PSP Northeast Open Pro X Ball for you right now. Yeah, this should be a pretty exciting match. Both these teams right now have one loss in this double elimination match. The loser of this basically goes home. The winner will go on to play Dynasty to see who will play for first and second against Excessive. Well, two powerhouse programs here on the field right now and two programs that well, haven't had the best of years. Infamous and Naughty Dogs both not playing like as well as they would have liked. Yes, yeah, interesting enough, both these teams played each other earlier in the match and it came down to a sudden death overtime. Both of them tied 8-8. Naughty Dogs losing that one. Infamous pulling it out 9-8 and now they're rematched here again and uh, Naughty Dogs obviously hoping for a different result. But Infamous looked like they have control of this point. Very much so. There you saw oh. a guy at the X. Boom! Gogged him. Goodbye. He's not waving hello. He's definitely waving goodbye. And just like that, there's point number one for the Bumblebee looking infamous guys in the yellow and black. Yeah, Gator bringing the flag and hanging it. Infamous getting the first point really quick here. Looked like the Naughty Dogs were trying to shoot him off the break while Infamous was spreading wide. They didn't, they didn't hit any of them off the break. So Infamous got the wide angles, went right up the field, scoring this point fairly quick. Let's see if Infamous takes those wide angles one more time or changes things up a bit. Naughty Dogs better change things if they don't want to take it to the house. Down one point early. So you can see again, oh, Naughty Dog suffering casually right on the break. Looked like Rocky got one to the head. But you can see them bunched up in the center there trying to shoot Infamous before they get wide. And you see Infamous running right down the snake. They Infamous shooting the shooters on the break, so to speak, and uh, taking it right to the Naughty Dogs at this point. Infamous well past the 50. You saw Rocky Knuth take one to the head early. The famous Knuth brothers of paintball. And look at this, another pull. And the infamous boys are flying around. Who wants it more early? The yellow and black team, that's for sure. It's two to zip. Infamous over the Naughty Dogs. Tons more X-Ball later in this show. Welcome back to Paintball 2 Extremes in the PSP Northeast Open. I'm James Bates, and along with my buddy Jen Pierce, we're bringing you all the goods of this big paintball stop. It's a big one because it really sets the stage for the World Cup coming up in Orlando. A good showing here gives teams confidence and, oh, so important points as they head down to Disney. And at this stage in the season, the teams pretty much have their favorite gear all locked down, but there's always the new stuff coming out. And if you'll give us 60 seconds right now, we'll show you some of the new stuff. Okay, when you're out there in the field, it's real important that you're comfortable. You want to be able to move side to side, front to back, real quick without having too many hang-ups. The new Empire 2006 Action Pack has got capabilities of holding four, five, six, seven, eight, and even nine pods. It comes equipped with the injecting that you can open and close that ejects the pods. It's got the treaded stretch wrap that allows you to, one, put extra pods in your back with the bungees so you doesn't lose your lid or fall out while you're running across the field. It comes with the new Velcro slimming feature that is a little bit different than last year's models. It also comes equipped, like last year, with your money, ID, even car key holder. At all the major tournaments nowadays, you gotta have an ID player pass, so this is real key because they're wanting you to check it on the field. It also has the, the reinforced back contour that's a lot more uh, padded than last year's model that is really, really comfortable out there when you're out there running around, especially in, like today, 90 degree heat. I can tell you what, I play with this pack and because of the new contour featured slimming device, it's definitely the most comfortable pack I've ever worn. Time is always ticking for the one minute reviewers, making them have to perform under pressure, just like the players in the open class X-Ball division having to battle the clock and battle the competition. Let's go back and get some X-rated X-Ball excitement. Yeah, you want excitement, JP? You can't handle this excitement. How about it? We got the Naughty Dogs and Infamous Pro X Ball. And since we last saw you, it's two to one now, Infamous. The dogs have taken one game. This is the fourth game. The dogs come charging hard at the break. And you can see the difference in the dogs now from the first two games. The first two games, they tried to stay in the middle. Sweet spot, Infamous. This game, they're spreading it out wide, knowing that they couldn't hit Infamous in the first two points. So now they're actually running out, spreading the field with Infamous, trying to get to the snake quicker and get some ground of their own. 
Well, Raymond Knuth taking the snake. The first time we've seen a Naughty Dog over there in the snake, and here comes his counterpart trying to match him up. Raymond firing. And they're going to trade one for one. A little bit of arguing there, but they'll both go back to the bench. Raymond's hot right now. You see the big vein in his neck? Yeah, they're both yelling, I shot you first, I shot you first. But Naughty Dogs, again, spreading the field. Oh, taking a little tumble there. But spreading the field wide, obviously working better for him now, getting a couple points under their belt. There you go. Two to two now. Evenly matched. That's more like it. That's the way you expect these two teams to play. The Naughty Dogs in the red and black. Raymond and Rocky Knuth leading those guys, eating all that whey protein before they come out here. All the energy ready to roll and on the right. Infamous, two to two. Now, does anything change? You lose two in a row after winning the first two. Uh, you change your, your point of attack? Well, definitely Infamous in the first two points came out spread wide, and the Naughty Dogs adjusted. Now Infamous is going to have to readjust to get some more points back on the board. The Dogs have countered them and countered them well. You can see scoring a few points in a row. And again, they hit the snake. Not only readjust over on the other side, but regroup. You saw two guys in yellow heading back to the box. Right here behind the pop can, that's Andy Kupchak. He'll make a move over to the snake. So now Cup checks in the snake. The guy from the Naughty Dog's in the snake as well. He's gone. Oh, taking one to the head there. That's huge. Andy's going to be able to move all the way down the snake now with the Naughty Dog's not the snake. Looks like it's come down to a one-on-one. -on -one. See if Infamous can pull this out or if it's going to be the dog's point. And with that one-on-one, -on -one, we've got two greats down on the field. There's Andy Cup check in the yellow for Infamous. Back right Dorito. Big Rocky Knuth wearing the red and black of the Naughty Dog's. There you see him standing up. Oh, beautiful snapshot. Left-handed by Rocky hitting. Andy right in the hopper. What a beautiful shot. Wow, Rocky standing tall, and just like that, it's three in a row for Rocky Knuth as he sounds off a little bit. Doesn't pull the flag because the towel's thrown. Hey, we'll be back with more X-Ball later in the show. You know what I like about paintballers? They improvise. They're curveball hitters sometimes. Well, take this event, for example. It's held at the Turner Valley Complex. It was supposed to be at Nemecolin, but at the last second, they changed it. Curveball hitters come here, and they're playing and having a good time. How did they find out? Not by using a magazine as a bat, but by the magazine itself, Paintball Two Extremes. That's how you keep up on all the twists and turns and the crazy stuff going on in the world of paintball. What's going on with it right now? Here we go. We kick off the new year with the January issue. Chock full of great new products, the latest from the ref's domain, and in-depth coverage of everything shaken at the World Cup. Get yours today. Paintball to Extremes is brought to you by National Paintball Supply, number one supplier to the number one extreme sport. By Diablo, play with fire. And by Paintball to Extremes, covering the game. Welcome back to PV2X, the PSP here in PA. I'm JP, and since we're talking shorthand, the letter of the day is not P, it's X for X-Ball. And we're gonna wind up our competition here, so let's get our game on one more time. All right, Paintball Nation, here's the situation. Naughty Dog's on the right, up seven to five over Infamous. After starting two games down, they've come charging hard. This is game 13, that clock is starting to tick down. Who's gonna make that big move? Yeah, two point game right now, but you see the Naughty Dog's coming out. It looked like a couple of the guys tripped, and it looks like they suffered a, a couple losses right on the break, but getting the snake still gives them a good position here. Very big to go get that snake. We've seen teams that have had success in the snake so far today on the show have had a lot of success when it comes oh. to points, trading one for one there. That was their last one, though, so it looks like Infamous has more guys alive. We'll run the flag in, get another point here, make it a one-point game. Wow, that's right, seven to six now. Infamous trying to creep back up there as this clock ticks down. Game 14 now, seven to six, Naughty Dogs. Naughty Dogs wearing that red, and in the yellow, Infamous. Same thing, Infamous coming out again. Looks like the Naughty Dog going to the tower, took one in his head. Yep, ref going over, pulling him out. Infamous looking strong here. They might tie this game up. Fast-paced X-Ball. You got to be in pretty good shape to be down there playing this X-Ball, don't you? Yeah, X-Ball is pretty unique the way the format is. Basically, you play point after point with only two minutes in between each point, and each flag hang is one point, and you have a time limit just like every other sport, and whoever end up, ends up with the most points at the end of the time limit wins that match. All right, who's going to come out on top? Who's going to communicate the best? You hear him down there shouting communication. So key at this X-Ball. You can have one coach over on the side coaching him up a little bit. You hear the Naughty Dog's coach coaching, and look at this. 
That's Brett Cohen making a move, one of the newbies, new kid on the block, wearing the yellow and black, and up there at midfield. Yeah, Infamous has got a bunch of new, young, little players on their team that are just really a bunch of good ballers. You see him making a nice little run, hitting the guy as he slid into the can there. On the Naughty Dog side of the field, looks like Infamous has control here. Behind the mine, last guy standing, no longer standing, and Cohen will go hang this one. Hang in tough, new kids on the block. They're rough. So how about that? Seven to seven at this point. They each played one more piece and swapped those, but you don't want to see that. What you want to see is the sudden death. Clock runs out. The last team standing will move on. The losers, truly sudden death because they go home. Yeah, this is almost a spitting image of the first match between the Dogs and Infamous. Came down to eight to eight. The time ran out and they went to a sudden death overtime. Infamous coming out on top in that match. Let's see what happens here. This would be big, a win here for two teams that really haven't played as well as they would have liked this season. Would love to get a big win here right now. Brandon Lambertson standing tall, 9.09. Yeah, it looks like the dog spread wide over on the pit area. That lost that player on the break. The dog's still strong here with three guys alive, though, losing two. Moving up to the X. Rocky makes a move to the snake. Looks like he got hit, though, on his hopper, did he? He's gone. Yeah, it looks like he slid in a little funny, hurting his hip there. Oh, dogs coming around, putting a couple in Lambertson's face. Both of them exchanging there. Dogs fired up a sudden death win for them, and they'll have Dynasty next week, and we'll have it for you. Well, that about does it for this week's Paintball 2 Extremes, but thanks for stopping by. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you? No, that was lame. Shoot. But if you don't know me by now, lame is my lie. And so is Paintball 2 Extremes. And if you don't know Paintball 2 Extremes by now, well, you're missing out because we'll be right back here next week in Pittsburgh, PA. We'll go Division I style on you. Ben Pittman Brain Trust. What are they working on? Well, just wait and find out. And more open class tournament action. For Jen Pierce, I'm James Bates. We'll see you next week right here on OLN.